Hey, Deirdre, PayPal is exploring the launch of a stock trading platform. This is according to sources familiar with the matter. I'm told the company has held talks with potential partners in the brokerage industry to roll this out. It would be a similar strategy or could be to how it launched crypto cryptocurrency trading earlier this year with that partnership with Paxos. We also have some details around a new hire as part of that move into stocks. I'm told the company brought on Rich Hagen. He is the former founder and CEO of Trade King, which was bought by Ally Invest. His job title right now on LinkedIn says CEO at Invest at PayPal, which is a previously unreported unit of the company. PayPal did point us to comments by Dan Schulman, the CEO at Investor Day earlier this year. He's talked about the long-term vision for PayPal and how that could include many more financial services, as he says, including investment capabilities. He also mentions things like high-yield savings accounts and cash checking. Schulman has described PayPal as being a super app. Stock trading would certainly fit into that long-term strategy there. And another source telling me that this will not roll out this calendar year. It will be next year at the earliest, guys. It comes amid more competition in fintech, especially with stock trading. we got the likes of Square and Robinhood, SoFi as well, and a lot more regulatory scrutiny. Back to you. Yeah, Kate, not just that, but we opened up the show talking about Amazon's partnership with Affirm. That's another big company sort of expanding its tentacles, you could say, into fintech. And Affirm also perhaps has visions of being kind of a super app. It already has savings accounts. Everybody seems to be talking about being a super app these days, Coinbase as well. I wonder if, if you have uh, conversations with analysts or others, uh, uh, an analysis on what this kind of risk exposure could do, even to some of these established companies that now seem to, um, you know, be, be getting more comfortable with this market that we're in. Well, that's a great question. You mentioned a firm. PayPal has things like Buy Now, Pay Later. They're all launching similar products that seem to overlap. Square, Robinhood, as mentioned, sort of becoming its own super app. So you're spot on with that in terms of fintechs trying to be sort of the, I guess, Alipay, what you see in China, and things that really right now don't exist in the U.S. They want to be the one-stop shop for finance. But, of course, that brings on more regulatory scrutiny. A company like Amazon and a lot of these companies that are not banks, a firm is not a bank, PayPal is not a bank, they've got these money transmitter licenses. So it definitely the appearance of having everything to do with financial uh, independence for a, a consumer will definitely bring on and has brought on more regulatory scrutiny. So I think that's one reason why big tech has been a little bit more likely to partner versus try to get things like a bank charter. But then you've got Square going in the other direction getting a bank charter, sort of moving in, looking a lot more like a bank lately. But it's interesting to see sort of these different companies launching similar products and seeming to overlap more than ever. Yep. Yeah, different companies launching similar products. I mean, you just m mentioned Square. You know, Square offers stock trading through the Cash App. SoFi offers stock trading. The fact that PayPal's getting to this, I wonder how much you think this is just a result of the fact that companies will need to be a one-stop shop. I don't know if there's a sense that consumers really just want to lock in with one of these fintech companies and not be using multiple different fintech companies for different services. That's a great point, too. It could be competitive pressure where they look at a company like Square, which is really seen as a rival, and say, we need to have this so that we make sure that customers don't have a reason to leave. But I think it's too soon to tell if that's what consumers want or if they want to be using Robinhood for stock trading, Square for banking, PayPal for Venmo. So we'll see, you know, when it comes to uh, consumer choice.